Hello everyone. My name is Oyemi Esther Olabamiji. I'm the Chief Responsibility Officer at Olabam Solutions Venture and I want to just show us a very simple illustration and that is how to make a cow gown without sleeve. And I have these um, three yards of um, material so come along with me as I show you how to make a cow gown. What I did here was to fold my material into four. I have done some markings here. I have from my shoulder to my hip. From my shoulder to my hip is around 24. And then my shoulder to my knee is around here. We well, have decided to come up by like two inches. You can come up by three inches if you want. So the first thing we are going to do here is to mark our shoulder. My shoulder is eight inches and the, the standard neckline is three inches. Though I'm still going to I'm still going to increase it a little bit. The edge here. I'm going to come down by maybe two or three inches i will use ruler to connect the line from my neck line to the edge and the edge stands for my sleeve length so from here you know it doesn't have it doesn't have a sleeve so i will just come down by around um, nine inches that will serve as my sleeve okay. then between my hip and my knee i have around 14 inches so i'm going to find the knee point between them along this knee line i'm going to divide my hip into four my hip circumference is 48. 48 divided by 4 gave me 12. So this is the 12. Then I will add extra 2 inches to it. That's 14 inches. This 14 inches will give me room for ease and my sewing allowance. And then I will now curve. So what I'm doing is I'm curving it to come and meet this um, middle line. The measurement I have on my knee, which is 14, I'll now I'll still take the same measurement at the floor level. You know I have 14 inches here, so I may, I did the same measurement here, and then I joined them with a straight line. So I'm going to cut this side before I go to the upper part. So I'll just cover my hand. So this place will serve as my um, sleeve opening. For the sleeve opening, I'm going to be folding this inside by one inch and then <coughs> So this place, follow the curve and sew it. I will join the shoulder together now.
After joining the shoulder, I will tape the neckline. And that is what I am doing now. I'm taping the sleeve opening now. I left one inch earlier. So that is what I'm using to tape it inside. The next thing is to join the sides together. I left an inch sewing allowance. So I'll follow the curve and join the sides together. So here comes the final look of our cow gown. Can you see the way it's draping? Can you see the drip? It's a kimono cow gown. The sleeve we cut together. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell for more updates.